Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another video for today. Today we are talking about a topic that, to be honest, I didn't think I'd want to talk about or even go near it at all. But, um, if you guys don't know, H3H3 uh, came out with a video recently about Keemstar. Uh, just pissing all over him, to be honest. And, um, Bring into light some of his horrible acts he has done in the past, and uh, I, I know every single fucking one of them. Actually, there's like two I, I forgot because uh, I, I tried to purge everything about Keemstar out of my mind. But today we're going to talk about why I despise this dick, why I fucking truly hate him, man. Please go and watch Keem's, uh, fucking. Please go and watch uh, H3H3's video. It's really good, um, and he just fucking reps Keemstar a new one. But, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, he um, he's done multiple horrible acts that you guys probably know for yourselves. Um, he uh, doxed multiple people. He uh, brings people on to his show just to slander them and, and call them out and basically make people go and fucking witch hunt them. He accused a lovely man named Tony uh, of being a pedophile. Just and the only evidence he had was they looked the same. I remember that from so long ago because I was like, right, Kim's done some really shit things over the years, like fucking horrible crap. But that, fuck me, that is probably the worst thing he's done. Well, yeah, one of one of the worst things anyway. He brought uh, Etika onto his uh, channel for an interview and said, why don't you just jump off a cliff? Ah, uh, but to give the context, Etika's like, he's suffering from bipolar disorder and shit, so he just got released from a mental hospital, and he was, go he was essentially out of it, right? And he was saying, like, oh, we're in a simulation, blah, blah. He's like, so if we're in a simply simulation, why don't you just <laughs> jump off a roof? Because uh, that's what you fucking say, it's somebody going through a fucking breakdown, you sad, fat bastards, you cunt. Anyway, he also uh, posted on his uh, Twitter saying, recorded an interview with Etika. He started yelling and rage quit. He, ma he mad could have called him out for being weak. And this is a thing I didn't actually know. And like, I knew his other shit, but I didn't know this is what he'd done uh, until, you know, H3H3 went through it. Keemstar goes after people um, with uh, mental illnesses and all that kind of shit and calls them weak. They say, uh, I, I, I can't find the tweet, but I think he says something about like, oh, mental illnesses does not define somebody. You're weak if you can't battle and shit. And um, he literally just goes after cunts and calls them fucking weak for suffering and not being able to fight. Listen here, you fucking piece of shit. People that deal with that crap aren't fucking weak. They're the strongest of us all. People that can fight depression, fight any mental illness and survive are the fucking strongest, are the foundation of our fucking society. But this cut no, this fucking piece of shit on the internet, Keemstar, always, always has to crush people. Always gotta just crush them for his entertainment. He only thinks about what he fuck himself, he only thinks about his fucking self and what he wants. Not, not if Etika's safe, not if this man's actually a pedo. No, it's about entertaining his viewers and trying to make um, him seem like the fucking victim. And um, this is a fucking shit tweet he said. Um, he said, The thing that pissed me off is that Etika now 100% knows the internet is worried about. And 13 hours later, he's not notifying his fans but he's that he's okay. Maybe it's because he did off himself. But, and then, oh, it's just a fucking doubt shit. He is a fucking cunt. And he also said, The article, normally I would say stop going crazy, but there's no news going on, so go July, go full July 15th, baby, I have kids to feed. This prick, he is, honestly, I, I've never hated a man as much as I hate this cunt. The things he says, the things he does, and then he pulls back and pretends to be the fucking victim. Poor Etika did eventually, you know, kill himself. If, if you didn't know that he was finning, like, the river he jumped off a bridge. 
it, it was really sad and it is still fucking sad to this day because I, I was not really a, f- a fan of Etika I, and like I knew who he was but I never was a fan but anytime uh, a death happens in the community or in general due to suicide it's, it's horrible and before I continue I, ju- I do want to say I don't agree with people saying Keem killed him right I do not agree with people saying that Keem says the reason he's died granted I do not think Keem helped he literally did sell him to oh keep being crazy or jump off a bridge or um fucking uh fucking have an interview with him hours literally after he left a mental institution but he did not kill that man Erko was suffering for probably years um with his mentors, with these other personalities, with all this shit, um, and sadly, he he can't do it anymore, and it's shit. It's fucking horrible what happened to him, but it wasn't his fault. Kim didn't fucking help. He's a fucking cunt, and really, really took the piss out of him. It was not even fucking funny. And do you know what? I respect Etika. I don't know if he was doing it because he was out of it at the time. But on the interview, he called Keemstar out. Uh, saying like, oh, all you, all, you, all you do is be mean. Um, you even accused the man of being a pedophile when he wasn't. And then he would say, I'm not going to stop talking, says Keemstar. Like, and then literally after he leaves, he said, like, oh, what a fucking nutcase. Like, oh, shut up. See, right. This is a message. The only reason I made this video, right? Because I want to just see my point on Keemstar and shit, right? I do not make it a secret that I hate Keemstar. I, I, <laughs> if you know me, you know I despise him. I will gladly say it. What Keemstar does is irresponsible. I honestly, I am surprised he's not been arrested by now. The shit he's done is fucking toxic and it's a horrible thing he's put cunts through. And honestly, I, I'm a quite a compassionate person, but this man has run out of compassion for me. He has destroyed so many lives. So many cunts have been attacked. And listen here. Fuck, he's not going to watch this video. Fucking, I hope no Keemstar fan watches this video. But here's a fucking, listen up to this shit. See if you call people weak for fucking having a mental illness. For being able not to, like fucking fight back because of suicide thoughts you're a scum of the fucking earth mate you should have seen how pissed off i was when i found out all this shit the fact that you sit there laughing away at people's misery you fucking incomprehensive idiot you fucking waste of space you can destroy all these lives pretend you and then when they die or They've been wiped off the face of YouTube, pretend to be the French. You can do that all you fucking want. Do that every fucking day of the week, but we fucking know who you fucking are. You are nothing but a sad, lonely man. Think about all the fucking people that have been hurt. Kids, families, wives, you docks and pieces of shit. What about your own family? What about your children? You are a sick, twisted man. And honestly, you need to fucking, you're not, you're not a journalist, mate. You have to understand that. You're not even a news presenter. What do you report on? Fluff pieces. That's all you fucking do. That's all you will ever do. You'll not, you'll not do anything good for the fucking planet. You are a fucking cunt, mate. Journal, journalists are unbiased. They, they report the news. That's fucking it. You laugh at people's misery. You are fucking nothing, mate. You are honestly just a, a bit of fucking dust on this platform. <laughs> well, after I've just let out that old rage, I guess got nothing else to say. This is kind of just a video to say how much I despise him. And I think he is literally the worst person ever on this platform. And please watch h 3 h 3 s videos. It's way better than this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go and watch that. But, until the next one, guys, peace. So, here I am, it's 11.10pm, right? And I was editing an Overwatch video for, like, 
uh, in a couple of days time right it's just uh, just a game of me playing uh, with some friends Lex and Brady right <clears throat> but then right I didn't notice it until this time right uh, four hours ago uh, came so dropped a video I'm like oh fuck me what's this about now and then of course I go to see it and it is obviously him responding to um, what h 3 h 3 said about him and all I gotta say on that video it pissed me off so fucking much because as you can see I'm a bit more calm <laughs> way more calm than I was uh, because obviously hours have passed um, but yeah um, the shit Keemstar said in the video just pissed me off a fucking shit ton um, as I said before, I still don't think Keemstar killed Etika. That is a wildly big accusation to make. Um, but anyway, Keemstar is going to be making two videos. So, uh, today, or tonight, or whatever, was the first response, to, and he said it was about Etika. And apparently the next video is going to be on everything. Everything uh, H3H3 uh, said, right? So if I don't see everything, like, so Tony... Uh, the Dachshund, the Swatters, all that shit, see if not a single fuck, see if he misses even one, I'll be fucking enraged again. Because, what is he gonna say? What is he actually gonna do to talk his way out this fucking situation? Anyway, that, that's for another video, if you guys want that, just say. But, the reason I'm mad, is in the in the most recent video we posted, right, saying like, oh, hatred, hatred, lies, right? Um... He's really mad at the video, it's quite obvious, right? He is, and he is fuming because he had to break off his deal with uh, G Fuel, so he's not sponsored by them anymore. All the, all the products are discontinued. I don't know if, because there's a lot of shit going on right now, they're saying like G Fuel dropped Keemstar, and, but then Keemstar said in this video um, that he dropped them because they don't deserve that hate, which I kind of agree. Um, but it seems like he's more mad at the fact as. Because, right, see, when he's talking about Etika, obviously he's pissed because somebody fucking uh, accused him of killing somebody, right? Um, obviously, he's quite irritated, but not nearly as mad when it comes to his sponsors. See, when it comes to his sponsors, right, he says, and I, and I quote, well, actually, don't quote me on this, but um, I think he says, Is this.